What New Line Cinema couldn't do, Womp Stomp Films did. What's going on guys? I'm Alex Thorne and I'm just a rock and roller who in his downtime likes to watch movies while wearing a bandana. And I just got done watching Never Hike Alone 2, which was incredible. I'm going to leave the pop-up link somewhere up here. I had to go back and watch Never Hike Alone 1 because Vincent DeSanti was cool enough to send me the ghost cut, the VHS, and Never Hike in the Snow Blu-rays. Thank you so much, brother. You sent it to me a little while ago, and I sat down and watched the ghost cut, which collects not only Never Hike Alone, but Never Hike in the Snow, as well as a plethora of other things to start, like a music video that explains stuff. Never Hike in the Snow is really where the narrative starts. And Never Hike in the Snow starts out with not only the snow which people have been wanting to see jason in for the longest time and a chase scene but also archery and the kid unfortunately who gets killed in the opening scenes of never hiking the snow gets it in a brutal way he gets an axe through the mouth the graphics the special effects on that incredible womp stomp did an amazing job but past that we get the introduction of Tommy Jarvis. That's right. The same actor who played Tommy in Jason Lives came back for this series. Tommy is back and he still suspects that Jason is alive and well, but there's no proof yet. We get introduced to the mother of that kid who got killed in the beginning of Never Hike in the Snow. And she also works with Tommy. And She's a very concerned parent and she's doing the best she can to cope with things. Not only that, but we get introduced back to Jason and how close his relationship is with his mother. That's right. Wompstomp Films brought Pamela Voorhees' back to the series. At one point, they even get a scene of him flashing back in his mind thinking that his mother took off his mask and he's a little boy again. Kind of similar to how we saw at the end of Manhattan when he turns into that little boy again. I think that was a symbolism thing because even in this movie that happens and there's a symbolism of Jason still really, even though we see him as this huge gigantic monster, which he is, he still in his head is that kid who initially drowned and still sees his mother day in and day out. When we leave that short film, we head into Never Hike Alone, where we get introduced to YouTuber Kyle. And he takes up the bulk of this movie as we go with him because he's a hiker, a trail hiker. And he ends up at Camp Crystal Lake. What a place to end up. He starts reciting the stories that everyone has heard in that area of Jason. Ends up finding all the camp, all the cabins, all of that stuff. And he eventually comes across... Jason's mother's head, Pamela Voorhees, and gets into a confrontation with Jason himself. And when you start seeing Jason battle Kyle, you're just reminded of how amazing and awesome Jason Voorhees was in the Paramount days. And not only that, you got to give Womp Stomp credit because they do Jason right. They don't have you seeing his eyes like every New Line movie did. It's not present here. This is the Jason you remember from Friday the 13th, 6 and 7. And he's strong. He's coming forward. He's unstoppable. As this all passes and all this stuff happens, right at the end of the movie is when paramedics come and Tommy Jarvis and Jason come face to face once again. <sighs> Man. This is really what made us believe, made me believe in a lot of others, that a small independent company that was funded by the fans could really do justice to something Hollywood could not. 
Never Hike Alone, which is available right here on YouTube, as well as at the link down below on VHS, on Blu-ray. I suggest if you're going to pick up the Blu-ray, pick up the Ghost Cut so you got everything in one. But if you need the VHS like I did, grab that one too. He's got them. I think this was an amazing movie. So let's go to the bandana rating system. And guys, on the bandana rating system, I'm going to give Never Hike Alone four bandanas out of five. Never Hike Alone 2 tops Never Hike Alone, but that doesn't diminish the value or the quality of Never Hike Alone. This is Jason at his best, and this is where it started for Wompstomp Films. Right here with Never Hike Alone, four bandanas out of five. Guys, show your support. Go over there, leave them comments, subscribe to their channel, watch both Never Hike Alone and part two, and head down to the links below to purchase and support and pre-order the entire series. I gotta go trick or treat so then I can watch some movies and review them for you. Thank you.